The Hitman series definitely has one of the best catalogues of easter eggs and secrets to check out, and 99% of them fall under the categories of crazy, <laughs> funny, run, run, run. Ding, ding, ding. wacky, and even at times they're a little bit spooky. But over the years there have also been two utterly heartbreaking and very sad easter eggs. The first was found in Hitman 2016 where in Sapienza Marco Abbiati holds a political rally in order to gain young voters. But that's not all he tries to gain as he manages to destroy this couple's relationship by stealing the guy's girlfriend and that ultimately breaks the boyfriend's heart. Want to have your picture taken with me? Oh, um, yeah, I, can I would love it. An honor. No, Mr. Yeah, whatever. While the second and saddest secret is found in Hitman 3 and Chong King where 47 has two targets to kill, including Imogen Joyce, who is found wandering around the underground levels of the ICA data facility. And it is on level two that you can locate Imogen's office and gain access to a terminal where you can interact with three of her employees and fire each of them, which in turn gets them out the way and makes our job a little easier to complete. But have you ever wondered what happens to these employees after you sack them? Well, if you sack Alicia Reynolds, she will simply walk to the entrance of the building and begin to smoke a cigarette, while Sharon Reed will leave her position, get changed into a dumpling outfit and dance the night away at the local disco. But. What happens if you fire Jeremy Bolt? Well, at first, he will not take the news very well. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. What? That can't be right. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. This is not good. And if instead of proceeding on with the mission you decide to go off the beaten track to follow him, not only will you witness one of his so-called friends and colleagues giving him the cold shoulder... I, uh, I have to tell you something. I don't know how to say it really, I mean... I, I can hardly believe it's true myself. Yeah, you were fired. I heard something about that. You know? What did you hear? Did I, did I do something wrong? No idea. It just makes no sense. I like it here. I, I put in a real effort. My friends are here. You're here. Yeah, well, I suppose so. There must be some mistake. We'll stay in touch, though, right? You and me? Um, it's kind of awkward with these hours. Unpredictable. And, and you know, uh, household logistics, buying groceries, feed the cat. There's just a lot to see to. Yeah, but you're my buddy. Let me have your number. <sighs> I can never remember my own number. I tell you what, give me yours, and I'll be in touch when I get a free spot in the calendar, huh? Okay, great. Oh, bad enough losing the job. I don't want to lose my best buddy, too. But you will also be able to witness Jeremy's story coming to a tragic end. What do you know about voodoo? What do you know about voodoo? 